Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Total War Thrones of Britannia. I was looking at this picture and thinking like, this really looks like a piece of chess, it reminds me of chess, like there are so many armies around and you're just trying to calculate what is the right move in this situation and how can you make it work that if you can't defeat your enemy at first then at least you weaken him. So here we are right in this situation mm. I guess my first move like the king can move around a lot in this situation here we have three armies a smaller one a bigger one and we have the village protecting them most likely let's see we were to go here no they're not protected by the village so we do have a ship here and we do have another army. Let's see if we can take this one out. If I go here, will he get reinforced? Yes. So there is a possibility that if we just... Is there a point in fighting this? He has four swords, a few spears. I don't think so. So what I'll do here is that I'll aggressively attack and then I'll try to take over the town. On the warpath. Good. Kill them all. Yep. So those reinforcements got taken over. We can now occupy the region. At the same time this opened the gates for these armies to get towards us. Let's see. Okay, he can get here. These two can get here. Impossible. I guess for the moment we'll just keep our king still. Impossible. And we'll see what happens afterwards. Let's fight a battle here. This is not gonna be the easiest. These ranged troops are quite tough. They have four tough soldiers, uh, like swordsmen. And we have a few, but we really need to replace this Raider Swordsman. Even Cav units. Let's get into the battle first, and we'll work our way up. Made myself some coffee, start our day right. And today I made a good one. Good, a dry weather, let's see, where do we want to go from? Is there a point in invading from this side? There's a bit more space, so is here. Oh, I, I, I don't think there's anything, any reasons why. I would prefer one over the other. I guess there's no one else to, to take this siege tower except for these axes. Axeman. So we'll do like this and... Kurns. Kurns. We do this like so. Archers. Axeman. Three three of them, I think we can have three of them on this side. And we can have more like so. Okay, well, let's start the battle. Attack! Hit them! Ravish them! End them! Turns! Good. Where's the fight? Turns! Turns! Hurry up there! What's that? Archer, archer. Some javelins and some more archers. Okay, well let's take our troops, our ranged troops and attack him. Who's for a body? Turns! 
Okay, well, we'll keep these armies close by. Let's bring these troops on this side. Okay, we're causing some damage. Missiles away! The enemy approaches! We're being fired on! Kerns! Take courage, troops! It's a rout! Our warriors flee the battle! Yep, that is okay. Our our, the point is for them not to set fire to our siege engines. That's what we need in these cases. Okay, let's retreat though, that unit as well, as we do with these ones. Good, so now we're at the walls. Yeah, they won't have enough here. Set fire. Okay, well, now that we're on the walls, let's see, let's take these swords and bring them up. Okay, let's bring these units up as well. Good. So far so good. Let's continue there, let's continue here as well. Okay, good. sure where that is we're ready for this strike rubbish them okay let's engage those there let's engage this here you get up here please okay these units are losing okay let's Bring them through here. Devil take the hindmost. Victory! Axeman! Strike nine! Hurry up there! Hit them! Let's go over there. Don't break down! We're ready for this! See! They flee before our might! Okay, well, let's bring them on this side. Devil take the hindmost! I think we we have it in the bag. Yeah. We're just gonna do it like this. And that should be about it. Okay, good. So we've taken over. We have now a way through. Oh, this town consumes a lot of food. Let's stop taxing it. 
to reduce some of the food. And I'm guessing that this town consumes a lot of food as well. Yeah, okay. So now we have a way here, a way in through here. Do we need a armors on these units? The answer to this question is no. We can repair this. We'll have 10% extra movement, which is good. Let's see, what kind of economy do we have in the area? We have an iron mine, we have a fishing port, we have a cattle farm here, and an other mine. So the church could be good, but not really. It uses some of our money, the extra income from church will not help us. Like, we'd better go with a high cross, for example, instead. A water mill could be better. Do I want the 10% extra industry? I think I might. But let's think about it. If I leave this here, I will need something for public order, which will probably be... Maybe another high cross there. But if I wouldn't put that in, we would need a water mill, the blacksmith, mm, it's probably better to put a tool maker in as well. Should we make food a priority? I guess the water mill would be the better building because it will help both industry and agriculture. So. I think, yeah, I, I think that is the right thing to do. Here we're going to upgrade this runestone workshop. Let's see, where are we here? Well, it's gonna take us a little while, like two turns to get there. We're gonna replenish here and then we'll start moving north. For this area, we are going to attack Stratklut, coming the next turns. Okay, let's see, what other situations do we have here? So here, the problem is both uh, or all of these armies can get to, to us. So we have three armies that can get to this city. So if we leave to engage either of them, we will be forced... Yeah, we will be forced here to lose this town, which can be a good thing as well. Let's see. They have plenty of swords, which is a bit scary. We cannot. I'm not sure what Mirce's army is, uh, is composed from. I think we can resist with our king for long enough. At least I'm hoping. Let's see, what are we researching now? We were working... Cultural os osmosis. Okay, perfect. So I think that's about it for now. We just reduced tariffs, which increased our trade by 10%. Let's see, where is some food? This could be one. Oh, we're gonna get some food following the next turns. That is great. I don't see any more food. Like, we could go with this. Let's go with that. Because otherwise, it's very difficult to find a place where to put a few buildings like this. Anyway, end the turn. Let's see. Okay. So they decided to not wait for mirrors. Here we're going to be the defender. Let's get inside the battle. Let's see what we'll do. Now, it would, if it would have been too difficult, I would have just gone ahead and fought Eilech to get that Long Kingdom victory. And as soon as you have the Long Kingdom victory, then it's you get the invaders and it would definitely would have weakened uh, West CX.
Okay, so he has the Thanes, he has a bunch of swords, like there's a few reinforcements, don't know if we'll need them, or if they'll need them, because I think I'll be defeating most of his armies by the time he gets to us, so I'm not, I, I don't think he'll wait for the reinforcing troops, I think he's feeling pretty confident. And in a sense, he should. Horseman. Horseman. Let's see. It's... Let's look at these guys. Really nice armor. Okay, let's start the battle. Let's fast forward it a little. Um... They're trying to. Where's the fight? Where are the They're working to reorganize in order to bring in their supporting troops. I don't think I'll let them. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna take another spear unit and we're gonna bring it to the front. We're gonna do this, yeah. Okay. Good. Now we'll be able to skirmish with them as well. Let's go after them like that. Cavalry, I'm gonna bring this cavalry around as well. So let's see, what are we going to do next? I'm going to follow his cavalry. Make sure they don't escape us. Okay, more javelins coming in. Okay. I think I won't be waiting anymore. Let's advance towards them. Let's destroy them by the time the reinforcements come around. Okay. Those are javelins there, let's engage them. Let's bring these archers around, apparently they do have a few long axes coming through to us. Okay, good, good. So far so good. Okay, let's go after his ranged troops here, at least to scare them a bit. Okay, don't worry. We're just going to use this cavalry to take care of his missile troops. Okay, they're all archers here. Perfect. Just making sure I'm not making any big mistakes. And uh, we have the spears. One spear should go there. Another spear should go through here. Let's see, where is he? Where are his? Maybe his general there. Okay, long axes. 
Let's shoot them there. And with you, we'll be coming this way. Maybe even better yet, we'll take the other cab and we'll go further. After the secondary unit here. Let's see. How are they doing here? Not great. Not bad though. Okay, let's bring our general to support them here. Oh, we did have Surge. Cool. Let's make them tough here. We're going to fire in the back of these units. Or maybe we'll just shoot at the Royal Companions. Better yet. Right. Where is this cavalry? Let's go after the... Archers, shoot at the Long Axemen, please. You engage here, you engage on this side. Apparently not all of our troops are engaged, so... I want them to do this. Okay, let's do that there. Let's make sure these troops are engaged here. We can take care of these units. Okay, we'll take our general out. Yeah, got a bit under, uh, like in the zone, as they say, where you're focusing so hard that you go silent. Okay. Good. The enemy general is dead. The enemy general is dead. Hooray! Long live the general. Yeah, that's it. So we're just gonna make sure that none from this this group escapes, because we want this general to be dead as well. And that should be about it for this battle. Awesome. We lost 500, they lost 2000. Okay, so he's bringing, oh, he's bringing a bunch more troops in again. He's attacking with this 18 stack. Oh, he's just... He's just not letting us replenish. That's what happens there. They still have a lot of gold. They still have a lot of resources. They have the food and they have the gold. Uh, just killing their troops means that their income just went through the roof. So it's not the perfect situation as I would say. Okay, demolition complete here. And we could either make an industry building or a high cross. Or may maybe even go with a granary. Right, because it is our way in. A bit of replenishment wouldn't be bad. So maybe just for the moment. We'll do this. 
We'll take this food away. Perfect. We are at 84 food now. Let's see if we tax the province. We're still at minus food. Too many buildings consuming food here. With you, I will bring you here. And unfortunately... Thank you very much, Ailech, for supporting my early campaign. You will not be forgotten, but we need your territory. So that's how it goes there. Gonna take us three turns either way, so if I bring this army here and then it takes two turns to get there, that's not a problem. With this guy, yep, we're gonna continue towards their territory. Yeah, here we're just going to keep eating away at his own territory. Let's see. So we have 120 stack army here. Ooh, King Alfred, rank 10. We will not fail you. Now this guy would not an option. It's going to be difficult to defeat. By no means. They By no have three seventeen stack armies. For the glory I am not gonna keep this army around. No. Our bravery is legendary. Would I be able to reinforce let's take care of this guy? It even gives us really good chances. I don't think we need to fight this. Like, this will take care of the spears. These are all ranged troops, so they won't be doing anything. And with these troops, they're not good enough to, to defeat us. So I'm just gonna do this. And I'll do a follow-up. Just to take care of him. After battle. Now I have the possibility to go here. He, they would not be... He would not be able to reinforce. He would not be able to reinforce. Impossible. Not an option. These two armies would not Our be able to reinforce. If I take over this village, I might force him, the king of the Anglo-Saxons, to attack me here. For the glory of the Gales. It's going to be a tough battle. I, I am not, not an option. trying to make any illusions that it's not gonna be. Not only his troops, like they have a bunch of gold chevrons, like this is going to be a tough fighter. Like look at that, 87 melee skill and 75 morale and everything else. Okay, but I think this is the best choice because this will distract him, my distract him. Like at this point he can't reach the, vill the village. Well, he can probably reinforce, but I'm not sure no. he can. So he's going to attack us. No these means, troops might land. All in all, they won't be able to advance too much during this turn. I don't care if they're taking the territories in the back too much. No. Here, these two, like, yeah, they might bunch up no, here. As long as they don't us. get this general to support, no. I think we can take them no. on easily. Yeah, I think that's about it. Leads the way. We got free commanding on... Our king, our king is tough as well. This will the be a battle of the kings. Uh, yeah, I know. Unfortunately, we won't be able to replenish this cavalry by the time of the battle, but other than that, I almost think, like, by the amount of traits, I think this is a new um, lesson, so to speak. By the amount of traits that you can get, to add to your commanding points 
you should probably spend your resources adding to zeal. Because here, sure you get a bit of melee skill and a bit of armor and charge bonus and all that, but that's not really amazing in the grand scheme of your armies. Having a bard though, I think it's a lot better. So maybe going forward, I'll I'll not pick it again. Hmm. We'll see. We are eager for glory. Wait, you here? Let's see. What are you upgrading? You're upgrading the monastery, so there are some troops there. Do I have enough you here to? Yeah, we won't have enough to attack this town and win. Which is important. I heard winning is important. Let's see, more food, just 5. This is 10 more food. With more income, so we'll do that as well. And I think that's about it for now. On decrease, I don't need any of them. Let's just end the turn. And we'll put a cut in here, in this episode, we were right. This guy got distracted by our king, so I'll see you tomorrow where we continue this wonderful journey through Bronzo Britannia. Have a wonderful day everyone!